Hello, how are you? How are you? This is for Leo the Lion. We're doing fire signs today. I've just completed Aries. If you want to take a look, now we're going to do Leo. Leo the Lion, the strength card. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. All of my tarot decks are pre-shuffled before I enter the reading room. And then... I align the energy to the sign we're reading. Right now, it's Leo. Leo. Oh, someone was after. I have a, a card shuffling machine. <laughs> but I don't do it here in the reading room because it's mechanical. Okay, Leo. Leo the Lion, fire energy. Leo season, Leo season. We're gonna do a eight an eight card spread. If you're not familiar, I'm happy to walk you through it. Okay, here we go. Leo, this is your energy right now. King of Cups, the Romeo of the tarot deck in reverse. Now, never be afraid of reversals. Don't be afraid of any tarot cards. The reversal is important because it, it allows me to read the energy of the card in its entirety. So if I only read upright cards, I would just say, well, there's, there's a King of Cups, the Romeo. But here it's saying, yeah, here I am, but um, I have... I have um, some issues, uh, some challenges perhaps. We're gonna see as we continue the reading, okay? Here are your reality, three realities. One, three of swords in reverse. Two, king of wands, beautiful. Three, oh, there you go, Hierophant. There's Taurus energy. Leo, there's a Taurus energy here. Your blessings or the things that are going well for you, Leo. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. The Devil. Capricorn energy. Possible outcome. Two of Wands. Looking, waiting, anticipation. At the bottom of the deck, Informing this read, we have Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Well, Leo, <laughs> you have a, a lot of love in your heart. Um, you are... someone not to mess with, especially when it comes to family. You're polite until you're pushed to that point. Right now, it's as if something about resources. We're going to get into it more over here. This is a general reading. It can't be for every Leo. That would be impossible. What I'm picking up from this energy is there's a love here. It's a strong love. It's a good love. It's a pure love. But it's almost seeming more right now like a friendship love. Do you know what I mean? It, and sometimes that it happens. That It's not that the love is diminished it actually it's increased it's it's taken on another facet perhaps you've been with or know of this person for a while and you've been through a few things with them you've been through a few things with them but the love has endured 
it's it's mellowed from a hot hot kind of bothersome jealous type of love into home into home The King of Wands is here to kind of show us the way. Um, and don't forget, behind the King of Wands stands the Lion. It, to me, it just states your resilience, how you're able to, to assess a situation, make it... I don't want to just say make it positive, but polish. You, you're able to polish something and make it, instead of, instead of a problem, you're, you're, you're actually taking the situation and enlightening the other person. Leo, if, um, You love family. Family loves you. You are the person that they look toward for everything. I have a question. I need someone to talk to. And you do that gladly. And you do that well. It's almost like you're leading by example of how to live. How to live authentically. Oh, that's a little bit deep. But it's taking this is all taking something that could have been topical, a uh, hot and fast love, you know, it, it, it burns bright, it burns like this. And then what? Well, you're showing what? Because now that love is turning in. It's, it's, I see a diamond turning in the sun and that you see the different facets and the different different colors in the you know the prism that is created. Very very about stability, about home, about I work hard now. Now it's time for my rest. I'm, I'm going to, do you see how relaxed, how reclined the King of Cups is? It's just, you, you do have a little bit of work because perhaps one or two of the people around you right now um, could be uh, stressed. I see a little anxiety. And again, you're the, you're the person who is is kind of Okay, okay, let's do this. Let's go for a walk. Let's do this. Let's get out of town. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to the beach. You're the person that's leading by example. Some of your blessings. It's, it's, almost, it's almost as if the universe sees all the extra care that you give to the people around you. And you're gonna find niceties, little blessings come to you. Do you see how it's given, this little trinket's given with such reverence. So for all the hard work that you, that you do and the care that you give other people, once in a while, you're going to be like, oh, where, where did this come from? Oh, oh, what a nice thing that happened to me. That's just confirmation. And, and um, it's always be, it's good, it's good to be gracious and, and thank the universe. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Five of Wands, it's, it's a little bit of conflict, but you don't, it, no broken bones, no blood. Um, it's almost like, oh, geez, if, if I, 
It's a two-edged sword with you because on one hand, you delight in helping other people. You delight in being useful and, and practical, but you also want to have your calm and your, your quiet time. You also want to have your calm and your quiet time. The devil is here, Capricorn energy. I don't see anything. You see, he's such a liar. He, he, he plays with, um, and that's not a Capricorn trait. That's, the, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. It's just in this reading. He's going to put an idea like um, you're growing old, something like that, or you're out of shape. And if you could only take care of yourself instead of everyone else, you would be, you see, it's that kind of a fleeting moment of doubt is what this is about. And what this does is creates just a little bit of conflict, but you've been through this before. And actually it's good. It's good that he's here so that you remind yourself to do something nice for yourself too. So when these blessings do come to you, take full advantage. Take full advantage. I see someone getting a gift of a massage facial, something like that, a spa something. And you're like, oh, maybe I could give this. No, 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 no. Oh, I could give this. To, no, that's for you. You. You're not a martyr. You're not the nine of wands. The beautiful two of wands. It's always good, like Tom Baudet would say, to have something to do you're helping people, you're doing your thing. Something or someone to love, you do that deeply, Leo. You have a lion's heart and something to hope for, something to look for. Some of, I see people, um, I'm feeling the energy of when something, like when the weather is cooler, I want to do this to the house, or I would like to add a door here, or something like that. I, I hear when you have, when you feel like it's time, you're going to do something for your home, your environment, and that is great. Framing this reading is the Page of Pentacles. Now, pages usually are deliverers of messages. I think this message is loud and clear. And that's going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles bringing you the Ace of Pentacles. Reminding you, Leo, to do something nice for yourself. It's an honor. Whoever's energy this is, it's an honor to, to be in this presence. What you do to help people, it's... And a lot of this stuff that you do, you don't even tell anyone. So you're really, you're someone who makes this sad world a little bit better. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for what you do. Leo, the, the spirit of Leo, thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.